Today is the day thousands of travelers have been waiting for, the reopening of the U.S. borders to international travelers from Canada and Mexico. Good morning, thanks for joining us. I'm Rachel McNeil. And I'm Emma Jade. It is hard to believe it has been nearly two years since the borders were first shut down because of COVID-19. But now it looks like those days have officially come to an end. Yeah, Team 12's Adriana Loya is live this morning from a port of entry in Nogales where travelers began crossing a minute after midnight. Adriana. Yes, good morning. It is a great Monday for border town communities and binational families after waiting 19 months. And it also means big business just in time for holiday shopping. Crossing a port of entries like this one will now have a pre-pandemic flow of traffic. And as you can see right now, all lanes for travelers in cars and even by foot are open. Today's reopening marks a historic end to restrictions that for more than a year barred much of the world from entering the country. In order to enter, travelers need to show proof of vaccination, except for those 17 and under who travel with a vaccinated adult. And the immunized requirement does not apply to U.S. citizens or permanent residents. The U.S. Travel Association reports the U.S. economy was losing $439 million a month with the border restrictions. And according to the Arizona-Mexico Commission, 60 to 70 percent of sales tax revenue in Arizona border communities come from Mexican visitors. Here in Nogales, it is estimated that, uh, that about 40 businesses have had to close because of the closures. The mayor, Arturo Garino, has said he has been eagerly waiting for this day and he expects that at least a month to go by before they they see the impacts the opening had here on its community. We're reporting live in Nogales. Adriana Loya, Today in AZ.